Good morning students, uh, my name is Jim Twelves and I'm your lecturer, tutor for EDU 401, Foundations in Christian Teaching and Learning. Sorry, Learning and Teaching. It used to be the other way around. So, welcome. This is the first time I'm talking to you and in the group this semester we've got five students three from Masters of Teaching Secondary and two from Master of Teaching Primary. So nearly all of you have introduced yourselves but we've got some new students who've just joined us so please put a post in on the news forum explaining a little bit about who you are, a couple of lines and what you're looking forward to. So today I would like to introduce you to a few study issues which are coming up quite urgently. First of all, have you found the education homeroom yet? And in the education homeroom, there is the news forum for matters general to do with education. Make sure you get in there and look around at the resources in there. Secondly, get a routine of study going early in the semester. Unless you do, I am sure it's all going to pile up towards the end and you'll be in a bit of a mess. To help you we've got some assignments which are due very early. The first uh, news forum is due this Sunday, that's week one and uh, you do have an extra week if this doesn't work for you quite this week. And also uh, on the 20th of March we've got the first assignment due. So there's a lot going on. So get into a routine quickly and maybe read what you're doing um, on your mobile device or listen to uh, videos, echo recordings. Talking of echo, uh, the echo of first semester last year is on the right hand side on Moodle. I really encourage you to get into that, study it, fast forward the bits that are not particularly relevant to you. You'll find that we're working through the PowerPoints. There are four. The first one is by far the biggest and the last one is by far the smallest. So if you're going through the PowerPoints and you've got to the end of PowerPoint 2 and you're despairing, don't because there's not much that comes in 3 and 4. Um, I would encourage you to at least watch the trailer for the film Etre et Avoir 2002. You'll find the link on the, the main page in Moodle. If you can get hold of the video and watch the whole film, it is inspirational, absolutely encouraging. It's about a one teacher's school in the Massif Central of France and how he copes with the whole range of ages and abilities all in the one class all at the same time is wonderful, absolutely amazing stuff. I highly commend it to you. On Moodle you'll find there are seven sections. They relate to the Educators Helix, um, the DNA model that Jenny Bickmore Brand put up. It's relatively arbitrary, but the seven sections group all the, re the resources that you will need for the whole of your master's training. So become familiar with the seven, become familiar what's in seven. Each one doesn't refer to a week and you've got to do a week on one and a week on two. They're simply sections, use them like that. And they all follow the, the same order on the PowerPoints and the echoes. So that's that, and sorry, I'm losing my notes. You'll notice that in the next day there'll be a section on Moodle called uh, the non-assessed items. I encourage you to get in there and have a look at some little videos that I've put up for your instruction. This week's um, reading on Paolo Freire I encourage you to get into that and post if you haven't already done so or respond to other people's posts. Um, I know there's at least one there already. Um, next week it's the reading of Headley Bear on the first 
60 years of education since World War II in Australia. That happens to be the core reading for your first assignment. So what we're doing there is we're doubling up and so we hope that that makes sense that your reading for the post is exactly the same as for the essay and it's in the same week. Okay, any questions that are related to the course, put them in the news forum. Um, any academic comment, reflection relating to the posts in the forum posts. So try not to get those two mixed up. In the next little while, I want to set up zoom.us, which is a way that we can talk to each other and see each other um, digitally that I trust will work for, I hope, all of us, but um, even if it doesn't, it will be a blessing to those who do get there. So do watch out for your email that will invite you to a Zoom US. Enough from me. Happy reading and studying, and don't forget there's no such thing as a dumb question. Bye for now.